Alright my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be taking a look at this microphone from Fifine. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I had to show it to the other camera there. So this, um, you guys have been talking for a while about the, uh, the sound quality over here on Frogboy X1 Gaming. Um, having inconsistent sound, stuff like that. Um, so when Five Fine reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to cover their microphone, I told them, all right, let's 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 do it. Let's check this microphone out. Let's see how this one here will perform and, and, and see what it is. So this here is the Five Fine X or AM8. Uh, this is a RGB streaming, uh, streaming, uh, <clears throat> streaming microphone that is XLR as well as USB type C. Now, if you guys know, I've been rocking the, the Yeti mic for a long time now. And I don't know, guys. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and take a look at it. Let's see if I can get it over here. Um, when you first pop the box open, you are going to get greeted with the, uh, the instructions. Uh, here is the base plate. So that looks like it is pretty decent size screw on there i'm wondering if this microphone will fit on there oh that thing is actually fairly pretty let's see you get the usb cable um it comes with the five fine on there i still love this uh i still love my uh my sony my sony zv 1f or e10 so here is the microphone man like take a look at this Very nice looking. It actually has a little bit of heft to it, to be completely honest with you. It actually feels quite hefty. Pretty nice looking build quality. Can't seem to get these things to tighten up. because like, I want them to I want that to be a little bit more tight so we're gonna go ahead and see about hooking this up onto here or something because I might as well just use my boom arm because I mean that is a completely different screw set for the boom arm does not look like it's going to work on that. Maybe it will work on this. Oh my gosh. All the time this thing wants to freaking come out. And then the one time I need it to, it doesn't want to anymore. Trying to see what kind of thread pattern this thing has. I mean, it might fit in that. <laughs> Why would it? Why would it fit? So, we're not going to be able to hook it up that way. Um, I was kind of hoping to. I might have to get like an adapter or something. See if I can get an adapter for that. So we'll just put that back. Ooh, wait a minute. Well, looks like it's got a different thread in there. Let's try this, my friends. Because we've got a... Thread keeps going down. That looks like it's the same freaking. Where's that threading? Oh, that's threading way down in there. Maybe it will fit this. 
Because that there does have threads. Ooh, look at that. That actually fits that. Maybe we are going to get lucky with the equipment that we already have. Because we have this. But, we take this off. Wow, would you look at that? We're just not going to be able to have that lock ring on there. So, yeah, so we'd have to lose that, basically, and then have this just hooked right onto this, which might not be a bad thing, guys. Because now if we just hook the five line up like this, and then I have the boom arm like that, like when I'm making videos. Well, let's see. We'll find out, man. Like, we will get this thing up and freaking figured out immediately. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. Now, you will have um, the ability. So, what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in, and we're going to see if it will recognize. And let me... Okay, so we do have our RGB on there right now. So I feel like I feel like we're gonna talk to the top of the mic. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this thing to come on in audio input capture right here. Let's see properties. Okay, so it did not come up in the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out. And then when I come back, we'll be listening to just the, just the mic. So, all right, my friends. All right, guys. We are back with the Five Fine A. Uh, I gotta, I'm sorry, guys. I got to get the name of this thing. The AM8. So this is what this microphone sounds like. Um, obviously, about six or so inches away from my face. Um, kind of, you know, just kind of talking in it. It looks like I'm getting a pretty decent reading over here on Streamlabs OBS. I am using the built-in Streamlabs OBS to kind of, uh, to kind of like cancel out like the fan. I got the fan going at 100%. Like I want to see if that's really going to like bleed through into this video and stuff. Um, but other than that, guys, so this, this microphone, about 50 bucks on, on, uh, on Amazon, on Amazon right now. I mean, obviously I have to have the, uh, had the Logitech Brio or the Logitech, well, not Logitech, but the blue, the blue Yeti for, for a while now. This has been the microphone that I've been using and I've been getting a lot of complaints, um, about sound quality with this mic and, you know, I listen to a lot of my stuff back and I don't necessarily feel like the audio quality is terrible, but then again, like I'm not exactly sure what really good quality sounds like. Um, but, but you guys are the, are the boss, man. You guys are the ones that decide. So we're going to swap out and we're going to use five fine going forward for a little while. And we're going to see, I'm going to let you guys decide if this mic is going to be able to deliver good quality for us. That's something that we're working on right now. So right now, this is the thing. Um, Five Fine was nice enough to send this out to me. So I want to thank them. Uh, obviously, thanks. You know, they sent me out the um, the the other one first. Let me see. I, I tested that one out, and that actually didn't sound bad to me either. Um, 
It was the, uh, gosh, you know, I should be more prepared for these videos, but I just got back from getting my stitches removed, and I wanted to, to get you guys some, some a video soon. So this one, the, the first one they sent me out, guys, was the, um, uh, the A6T. And to tell you the truth, that's the one my wife is using now. She, she liked it and was like, oh, let me have that one. Let me use it. And I was like, all right, babe, you can have it. You know, I will. Because I, I was going to make another video on it. But then when Fly Fine reached out to me again to cover the XLR vi version, because uh, this one here does have the XLR hookups. Um, audio input so you can listen to it monitoring with the with the headphones I don't ever use that feature and then USB type C whereas my Yeti blue doesn't even have USB type C it's still just USB um, this is this is the real test guys because I'm perfectly fine with leaving with leaving five fine on there and checking out the uh, the a6 uh, gosh dang it these names man these freaking names. I'll get them eventually. The AM8. AM8. I'll leave the AM8 on there. And we will test that out. All of my other re um, um, audio is going to be recorded on the Rode mic as well. So I've got the Rode. I've got the Yeti Blue. I've got the, the AM8 that we're going to be using now. Not necessarily exclusively, but at least for when I'm sitting here and I'm like playing a game and I'm, you know, live streaming or, or, or capturing the sound for that. We're going to be using the AM8 for that. Um, a lot of the video work that I do, we're, we're, we're probably going to be using the Rode. Um, now that I've figured out that you can use that with US, with USB, I actually figured that out today. I didn't even realize that I could do that. I thought I just had to hook it right into my camera, but I can use that too. So we're going to use these mics and... Basically, I want to get you guys some sound off the road real quick, though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and mute the uh, the AM, and I'm gonna redo the sound on the Rode microphone. That is what we're listening to right now. That is hooked up to my camera, which is uh, about three feet away from me, give or take, about three feet away from me. Where's the uh, Where's the uh, the five fine is sitting right here next to me. So. In terms of being able to to like get you good sound, we're gonna go back over to the um, to the five fine. So let me just go ahead and and turn this one back on so that you guys can hear the sound of this mic. Now it feels like the road is actually turned up a little bit more, and actually it is. Dang, this is only at seventy five, whereas the road is at eighty. Okay, so now this one here is on the same point as, as that one. So hopefully we should be getting pretty decent sound out of this. Hopefully it wasn't like super low or anything like that. Um, but here's the thing, man. Like you guys are watching me literally plug this in right now, using it out of the box. So you'll be able to decide, like you'll know. Like I have my fan going on over there. And, and if you can hear that, and if it is distorting the sound or ruining the sound or any of that, like take that into consideration when when looking for a mic now one thing that i want to talk about that that i don't think i talked about enough was um the build quality of this mic obviously right down here you got a mute button i pushed that and i was trying to get back into the recording and stuff and i was like what the freak dude i can't get this mic to work now and and the freaking button so you might actually end up hitting that button playing around with it but that is your mute button you hit that right there you can see And it mutes, so you won't get any sound if you push that button. Um, it might feel like your mic is broken, but you can kind of move this around and turn it. I kind of like this. It, it sucks that I'm using the, the Yeti Blues freaking, <laughs> the, the Yeti Blues uh, thing for it. But, or, I mean, I paid for it. Why not? Why not use it? Um, or I could use this with the with the desk mount. I mean, it looks pretty decent for a, for a desk mount setup. You just kind of set it there, tilt it forward. But I don't... <sighs> I, I'm not gonna have it sitting on my desk. Obviously, I'm gonna use it like this. We'll we'll, we'll definitely be rocking the the uh, the AM the AM8. Like this thing looks cool. I do kind of like the RGB. You can mess with that back here with a button. I thought. Oh, right here. There's a button. So you can turn it off, or turn it on, or turn.
See, like I said, you touch that freaking button by moving things around, and it turns it off. But I was saying that when you're uh, when when you're building this, when you're when you're putting it together, it feels pretty robust. It's pretty robust, just like the just like the Yeti Blue. I mean, they both feel pretty good, pretty well constructed. This feels like it's got a nice, you know. I mean, it's almost like same same type of material. This does feel metal. This feels plastic. But other than that, for forty nine ninety nine compared to what I paid for this mic. If this sounds better, then that's a good thing. You know what I mean? And we'll find out here in a minute, like when I go to upload the video. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be testing this out a minute. Um, I will probably have more in this video, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a closeout yet. Um, I'll be back with a closeout. I'm gonna try to get some more stuff. I'm gonna get some more information for you guys, and then, uh, and then, yeah, we'll 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 finish up this video because I want this to be a little, a, a pretty decent review for you guys. All right, my friends, we are at that point of the video for the Five Fine AM8 microphone that we now have it set up, got it dialed in, recording through Streamlabs OBS with my noise suppression set to 55%. Um, I did a little bit of a test to see if it was sounding pretty good. And to be completely honest with you guys, I am really, really, really liking um, this this microphone. But I want you guys to to listen to the um, to the Rode microphone for a second too. So let me go ahead and pause that one. So all right, now we are on the Rode microphone. That is this microphone that is hooked up to my camera. Uh, probably put it right here in the shot a little bit closer uh, so that you guys can get um, an accurate you know level of detail from both of them now actually this one here is set down just a little bit lower so let me bring that one up to the same spot as this one 87 okay now they're both at 87 so 87 overall gain and then noise suppression on this one here is actually um, let me see what my filter was set on this one. Noise suppression. Uh, oh, method quality. All right, so that one there, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. It, I'd have to delete it to get back in there and see it or something. It wouldn't, it wouldn't just show me. But all right, so now that is the Rode microphone. We're gonna go back over here to the Five Fine. So give me just one second. Let me go ahead and. Now we are back on the five fine. So we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of this video with that. I, I don't know. Like I said, during the beginning of the video, I'm going to let you guys decide on this quality of this mic. And I hope you guys watch it through to the end. I'll, I'll obviously put a timestamp for the end of the video. So you guys can see the results of, of what's going on to see if this is something that you guys um, if, if you guys think that this is going to be a better option for the channel overall, uh, as, as for the, uh, Rode microphone, we're definitely going to be using that too. We're going to be alternating between the two, uh, probably end up using the Rode microphone most of the time when I'm using the camera, when I'm recording without running through Streamlabs or something, I will be using that on a boom arm. I got a boom arm coming tomorrow. So it'll kind of be like out here. Um, and, and I've got an extension, you know, cable so that I can run that to the camera. Uh, that was, that was my, that was my idea. I was like, okay, cause it, I've been actively for the last few days looking for a solution to the sound problem to match the quality of the video. Now we, we need to fix the sound. I get a lot of complaints on sound. Um, a lot of it is user error, like during like the video game, um, during like the video game segments of the channel and stuff. Uh, sometimes I just forget to adjust my sound levels in the in the game, so they're they're peaking right at the same time. Like I get that; that's completely my fault. I keep messing up. But the other sound quality uh, issues that we're finding and we're talking about, um, a lot of that just stems from I, I don't know. I don't know if it's my quality. I will be digging deeper into this. I'll be testing this stuff out. I'll I'll be testing the 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 the, the Yeti Blue out some more and stuff. I watched a video today talking about like old Yeti versus new vet, new Yeti and stuff. And obviously mine's a newer Yeti. <clears throat> so maybe like the quality isn't as good as like the older Yetis used to be, but obviously there's a problem. X, um, five fine was nice enough to send this out to me. So we're going to use it. We're going to let you decide 
We're going to let you guys decide while we are looking for a solution long term to enhance and create better quality sound for the channel going forward. This is the first step. I mean, overall build quality, I'm very happy with this. If, if I was to have, you know, when I first started the channel, I ended up buying that really cheap microphone and I had it hooked up and I was sitting here with it in my face and I was on a 720p camera and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is only like $20 more than that. And the other, the other microphone that Five Fine sent to me, the, um, uh, the one that we were talking about earlier in, in here, that one is a definitely a, a, a cheaper, you know, a cheaper microphone, obviously comes with the arm and everything. Uh, the, the, the arm quality isn't like super great or anything like that. But the overall mic on that sounded pretty good. Um, but I did have that closer to my face as I have this one closer to my face. And, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get better at making sound. So I'm hoping that this microphone can deliver that for us. And if it's a good microphone, then we'll stop there. Like no need to change it out if it's good. If it if it's performant and it does good, like we'll hang on to it for a while. So, all right, my friends, this is the um the overall video for the AM for the AM8. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys want to see more reviews like this in the in the future, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let these companies know that you that you value my opinion on on this stuff. But you know, obviously, I'm not a freaking sound guy. I'm more of a video guy. Um, I, I like video a lot more than sound, but I gotta get this right. I have to. I I, I get that there are people out there that they get irritated with the sound as there are people that get irritated with the video. So yes, this is an important part of the channel that needs to be rectified immediately. So hopefully this microphone can do that for us and um, provide better quality sound for you. So, all right, my friends. Oh, and in the comment section, if you guys like the new video quality, if you like the camera jumping around, if you like the things that I'm trying to do, please let me know. Cause I don't know unless you say something and I've been putting a lot of work into this. And as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about it. So I want to know how you guys are feeling about it. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really care what you guys think, but I mean, I mean, it does, it doesn't matter what you guys think, but at the end of the day, it's like something that like, I'm, I'm like really super focused on. So I'm going to keep doing it, but you know, constructive criticism, criticism would be definitely awesome. But, but I, I just don't want to, to listen to the, to the nitpicky nonsense that, some people in the comment section, you know, tend to do, but if you guys like it, then cool. If you don't like it, please be constructive of your criticism so that we can rectify things and, and maybe make changes. But I, I do like what I'm doing. And that's what I mean by when I say it, it's not like it matters what you say anyways, but at the end of the day, it does matter, but only if it's constructive criticism is what I was trying to say. So, all right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. I'm going to stop talking before I get myself in more trouble. <laughs>